What's up everybody, it's Kevin with Online Shopping My Way. Today I'm doing my review of the Ion Audio Block Rocker Plus 2.0. I actually bought this machine on January 11 of this year, 2020, and I want to do another review of it because it's just, it's awesome. So there's a couple of things, actually first and foremost, if you haven't seen my other video and you want to see it, feel free to click on the tag right here in the top right hand corner. Um, it was a great review, but I feel like it was lacking and I apologize for you guys. I actually had some of the comments as well, you guys told me. I love that when you let me know what's going on. But anyway, I just want to point out, this is a 100 watt version. There is a 50 watt version and then another one with an Echo Dot. Frankly, I wouldn't even waste your time. The difference between them is like maybe 20 to 40 bucks, something like that. Um, go ahead and go with the 100 watt uh, model. I do want to go ahead and get into the review on this. I'll go through all the features and this time you'll be able to hear some music. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with what you see here. Um, first and foremost, they do have a plug-in microphone. This actually works great. I've used it very rarely. I've used it maybe three or four times. Um, it's great. I mean, the cord isn't super, super long, but you can stand there and move, you know, walk a couple paces back and forth. It's fine. Um, but I happen to just prefer wireless mics, so whatever. But this will do the trick. If you're into karaoke, whatever the case may be, um, you can have some fun with this. Um, it, it, actually, it actually works really well. So not going to spend much time on that. It's just a basic mic that comes with it. It is super light, um, but here is your charging cable, all right? Um, when it comes to charging, I really don't have to charge very much. This thing holds a charge. I've never come close to running out of a battery. Um, if I just turn it on here, just press and hold the power button, you see that comes on. It is fully charged now, but this pretty much just stays, uh, you know, wound up on the top. I've maybe charged it a few times, I guess, in the last uh, few months or whatever, but I mean, I've had uh, events where I've just let it run for close to five, six, eight hours. Um, you know, backyard, whatever, just got some music going um, and pretty loud too. So it's using a few amps and it just keeps going. Um, I'm pretty sure I may have used into the third bar down here. Um, and we're talking probably pushing seven, eight hours. This thing, I could pretty much go for a whole, you know, I, I imagine I'd easily be able to go 12, 15 hours on this thing. Now it does boast 50 hours. I've never gotten that close and I can't think of any legitimate reason why this thing needs to be playing for 50 hours, but whatever. It ha I've never run to its limits, so it's been awesome with that. That's one thing I can certainly say. Um, so anyway, that's your charging cord. I'm gonna flip it around to the back here and in the process, I'm gonna show you the, hand the handles. You can easily carry this thing on both sides it has little handles here that you can stick, just easy grab uh, and go. And it's pretty light. It's really not very heavy at all. And just how compact it is, I mean, this thing is just amazing for being able to travel, throw in the back of the car, back seat, or even on a tailgate. It works really awesome. Um, I still even have like the plastic cover that came on it. No need to have taken that off. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you, got, you guys can see pretty well. I keep the bass boost on at pretty much all times. You can see here, you can turn it off and turn it back on. I'll give you guys an example of what that sounds like uh, when we get some music pumping through this thing. It's pretty awesome. But for the basic features on the back here, just want to show you guys the handle. Just like a carry-on luggage, you just pull that up and put it down. It's pretty straightforward. And you can see these wheels here. They're kind of, uh, you know, little off-road wheels. They're not amazing or anything, but they do really well. So if you are rolling over some concrete or, you know, kind of uh, pack down sand or whatever, you should be okay. Wouldn't really recommend going through sand if you don't have to, but it'll be fine. Um, and I also want to flip this upside down right quick so you guys can see these little rubber feet on here also help to dampen uh, when you put it down. It's, um, they thought, yeah, look at that. I just put it down here and it kind of bounced on its own. Um, those are nice and cushiony. So um, this thing has lasted me really, really well. All right, so there's your charge port if you ever actually need to use it. And again, your handle. So we'll go ahead and move along. On the front here, you're gonna see your mic plug in here. This is where you can plug this in. I'm a wireless mic type person, so my adapter goes in there and then, you know, I've got my mic that's attached if I want to walk around. So either way works just fine. It also has a Bluetooth option right here. You can just turn on Bluetooth. If you want to turn it off, you just press and hold and uh, Bluetooth will go off. I'm going to turn it back on. There you go. So you can hear that sound coming right through there. So Bluetooth is going to be live on there as well. And also there is radio which um, you can kind of turn on um, right here. There's gonna be FM1, FM2, AM, and then off. 
So if you press it four times, the thing goes off and it will display here uh, as well. I'll keep the sound all the way off, but just to be able to show you all on the display, if I press it once, that's gonna be FM1, press it twice, FM2, 3 AM, and lastly, the radio is gonna be off. Now the device is still on, the power button is here. So that's on and off, you just press and hold there. Okay, so that's power, that's Bluetooth, that's your radio options, and then these are your preset. You just press and hold when you get to a station that you like. It will beep to let you know that it's preset, um, and you can go ahead and do that. Now, here's your bass boost button. Um, anything that is connected via Bluetooth um, or your auxiliary input, you can actually control the sound right from the device itself, and you can actually move forward to tune on radio forward and backward, as well as tracks, changing tracks. So if you want to go forward or backward, you can use these buttons to do so. You do not have to use the actual device that you're streaming any kind of music from. Okay, um, And then, of course, same with this button for the play and the pause. You can control that there. Um, and then this button right over here is going to be for the mic sound. So don't mix those up if you're trying to turn up the, uh, uh, the sound. It doesn't work. Make sure you've got the master volume over here and the mic over here. So if you are using this wireless, uh, I'm sorry, this wired mic or a wireless mic for that matter, you have two controls for the volume. This is going to there you go. So if you move this, that's going to control how sensitive that mic is um, to your face or how close, how much the gain is on it. So it actually picks up the sound from your mouth. Um, in addition to that is gonna be your master volume. So this can get really loud. I did talk about that a little bit before. I'm just quickly gonna point, um, uh, plug this in so you guys can hear what that sounds like and also uh, put some music through there uh, as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this wired mic directly into there we go, uh, directly into the box itself. And I'm just gonna go ahead and switch sides so you can kind of see me. There is an on and off button here. You can see that there, an on and off button. And we can kind of use that. So now that this is on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the mic on, right? And I'm gonna turn up the volume on the mic or the sensitivity rather on the mic. Keep in mind the master volume is still down. So you're not gonna hear anything when I talk to the mic, blah, blah, right? If I go ahead and I turn up the volume a little bit. Now you can hear me. You guys hear that? So I'll turn it up to maybe halfway, that's sufficient. And then halfway on the master volume. And you should be able to hear just fine on that. Everything, uh, everything works really great. Test, test, one. Test, 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 test. And off. So I'll go ahead and turn that off there. So that works really great. I've actually used, just so you guys kind of know how I've used this, I've actually used this for a presentation uh, with a speaker. Um, I've used it myself as well. I happen to be uh, the vice president of my local chamber. And sometimes we have events and they don't have the best sound or no sound at all um, in the venue that we may be using. It does not matter. So this is fine for like easily, it was uh, maybe, 35 to 50 people that were in that room easily absolutely no trouble hearing um, I just put it in a corner at the front of the room and nobody knew the difference at all it was wonderful um, and it actually picks up the bass as well in your voice so if you've got a full uh, baritone or bass voice like myself it comes right out of here this thing is amazing um, it's got little tweets and little tweeters in there as well as a pretty full um, you know, large speaker there in the middle. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that through there, but the sound is amazing with only 100 watts. It's just amazing what they can do with a device this small. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the music factor. Um, again, I don't want to make the same mistake I did in the very first video. Uh, again, my apologies for that and have the music blocked out for copyright uh, infringement. I just want to make sure that you guys are able to um, hear the music for yourselves and, and know what it actually sounds like. So let's go ahead and get that tested out. But before I do, I just want to point one more thing out to you. See that? Um, close to the camera. It says five volts. You can actually charge your phone there or anything else that can be USB charged there. So um, this thing on its battery can charge something else through that USB uh, charge port as well as run music for an indefinite period. That's essentially what I was using it for when I was outside. Okay, so now I've got Bluetooth connected from my computer to the Ion Audio Block Rocker Plus. 
Um, the sound is turned up just ever so slightly. You should be able to hear at least a little bit of the sound when I first start the music. And I'm gonna slowly turn it up. Um, I likely will not reach all the way because the desk will just start shaking. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take the microphone and put it in front of the speaker so you can tell the difference. Um, and the bass boost will be on so you'll be able to experience that. But I'm, I probably will turn it up to halfway. After that, it'll just be ridiculous. I'm, you know, there's really no need to go any louder than that. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I'll turn on the music now and you guys can see what it sounds like with a Bluetooth connection streaming non-licensed music. Let's go. Okay, so you can tell I just got a little bit over halfway. I'm just going to tell you, when I got to about here, the hairs on my arm were already moving uh, right in front of the speaker. I, I hope that gives you a better idea of how I've never used it any louder than like right there because you can't hear anymore. Um, I, I heard a little bit of like rattling. Just so you guys know, if you did pick that up in the audio, that was not the speaker. That was my desk and things around it just rattling for no reason other than it's extremely powerful. So 100 watts packed in this tiny machine is mind boggling to me. Okay, so <laughs> that should give you guys a better idea of what it sounds like. All right, guys, so that's it for the Ion Audio Block Rocker Plus 100 watt machine absolutely fantastic i love this machine i've had it for like six months now i i mean i know you guys could probably hear it in the microphone but there's just nothing like standing next to it and your pant legs just rattling it's only halfway up that's insane okay so again there is a 50 watt version i would just recommend bypassing it altogether you have everything you need for i don't know maybe 20 to 40 dollars more max uh, and if you have the ability to get any kind of a warranty on it, you know, if it's offered, the links are below. But if there are still warranties, I would recommend it. Again, I've had no trouble whatsoever with this. But every company is going to have some machines that are going to be shipped and they may be ineffective. Even after quality control, you can always just return them in a reasonable time period. They give you no issues with it. So keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, I am just over the moon about this machine. I've had it for six months and I just still think it just kicks ass. All right, guys, so that is it for the Ion Audio Block Rocker Plus. Amazing machine. You could probably tell by the dumb grin on my face. I'm still super happy with it. I've had it for six months, uh, and I'm just, I'm over the moon about it. It's awesome. So anyway, if you got value out of this video, I'd love it if you give it a like, a thumbs up for me, as well as subscribe to Online Shopping My Way below. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Please don't be shy, leave comments, and I'll just let you know this second video, 2.0, was actually done as a result of two people making comments that they would like to hear the sound 
coming from this speaker. Um, and that's why I produced it because the very first one, as I said, um, was blocked because of copyright infringement uh, with music that was on the radio. So you were unable to hear. But this one absolutely just knocks it out of the park. It's wonderful. So again, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel at Online Shopping My Way. I've been Kevin. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.